Hi guys, today's video was going to be an acrylic tutorial, but the acrylics that I own ended up being very crappy, so I abandoned that project for now, and I asked on Instagram for the video suggestions, and one of my followers, it's Bartun, it's Bartun, I don't know, suggested this video, and I thought it was a nice idea, because redrawing someone else's stuff can always make you learn something. So I chose five drawings without any criteria, they just were the first ones that have been sent to me. The first one is this portrait from Ali Bean and I like the way she uses watercolors. It is very spontaneous and their color palette is different from mine. I never use orange and I prefer to make turquoise shadows but she uses purple for the shadows. She also uses complementary colors like blue and orange and the green of the eyes pops up because the orange is reddish. I usually make paintings that are more cohesive and more pastel colors so it was very nice to work with something different from what I'm used to. Of course I'm remaking this in my style, so at the end the colors I used aren't as vivid as hers. But I really enjoyed making this painting and now I find myself using more orange. It's fantastic. I used Gansai Tambi watercolors in this video from Kuretake because I recently got them and I wanted to test them and I, yeah, I fell in love with them. But they are not appropriate to make layers because they can be lifted very easily and they are not particularly staining. They are those kind of watercolors that I really like because they are bright and, and they are able to make the super cool watercolors cauliflowers. I love them. I'm sorry that this video is not like my other videos, like there's only one angle and you know, it's not that pretty, but um, I had to make five paintings and recording in that way it takes me too much time, so I just couldn't just skip that. Maybe the next time I'll figure it out something better. The second one is this one from It's Barton. I found this drawing to be very inspiring because I love to see women with shaved heads. It's nice to kick away the stereotypes. It's Barton also use complementary colors, yellow and purple. There's a lot of contrast and the girl looks super cool and badass. I had fun remaking this, but at this point I noticed that all of the drawings have a frontal angle and I never draw people like that because it's pretty difficult to make things symmetrical, so that was the real challenge for me.
the third one is from God Hates Lola. I actually wasn't going to use this drawing, but I accidentally saved this instead of the one of another person. So I'm really sorry to the other person. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Maybe I'll draw it in another time. Anyway, I really like the concept of this piece. I've never done something like this before because I usually don't make fantasy, mystical, inspired stuff. So it was very interesting and fun. And at the end, I'm happy with the result. Now, the original painting was made with gouache. I used watercolors instead. And I had the opportunity to use the metallics in the Gansai Tame set because I felt like they were appropriate and I was super happy. The fourth one is from Chidera 9, Chidera Nine, Chider 9, Chider 9, Cider 9, I don't know. This was originally a digital illustration and it's really cool and pop. I painted it with watercolors anyways. I like it that the whole body is showing. I always only draw close-ups, so it was definitely a good exercise to draw a person from head to toe. The style of the illustration was very cool. I made it my way, but I don't think that it ended up being as cool as hers. I like to draw figurative drawings on bigger paper, but I used this A5 sketchbook, so it was a little small for me, so I couldn't put all the details that I wanted. To make the line art of this and also the previous painting, I used the Arteza real brush pens. And by the way, I made a sketchbook with Arteza paper. I noticed though that on this paper, you can't really use ink pens on watercolors paintings because they feather. So I was a bit disappointed. It means that this paper is not resistant enough, so meh.
The fifth drawing is from Nani Banani. Ban Banani. I really like the concept of this drawing, especially the eyes, and I thought that it would look good in black and white, so I left it like very stylized, um, like that, because I realized that the pose of the drawing was a bit similar to the first one, even the air. So, yeah, I just left it in black and white, and I did it very stylized with like my style, my black and white line art style, I guess. It was fun anyway. I had fun. It was. It's been a while since I did something like this. And that's it for today, I hope you liked this video, I definitely learned something new and I had a lot of fun. Um, read the info box for more information about the materials and stuff and follow me on Instagram if you want to be aware of these kind of challenges. Maybe next time I'll try to make the I draw my follower thing. Um, see you next week hopefully and bye bye guys, I hope you're having a nice day. Bye again, goodbye.